Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn how to insert an element at a particular position in an array. So consider an array with 5 indices from 0 to 4. And each index is currently holding a fruit, a watermelon, a strawberry, a mango, a banana and a goa. Suppose we want to add an pineapple from the basket at the index 2. To accommodate pineapple at index 2, first we need to make it free. So we will shift mango, banana and goa to the right side and make index 2 free. So first we need a new location to add new fruit. So we take index 5. Now shift goa to index 5 so index 4 is free now. Then shift banana to index 4 so that index 3 is free. Finally shift mango to index 3. So index 2 becomes free, so pineapple can be added to this position. That is how it is done. Now take this array of size equal to 5 and we have indices from 0 to 4. Here we want to insert an element at index 2 where 5 is already there. The new element to be inserted is 100. First of all we need a new location, so size is incremented by 1. Now to insert 100 at index 2, first we want to make it free. So you want to shift 5, 78 and 30 to the right side and make index 2 free. So move 30 to index 5. Now index 4 is free. So move 78 to this position. Now index 3 is free. So move 5 to this position. Now index 2 is free. So add 100 here. Now see the code for inserting an element at a particular position in an array. Let POS be the position where we want to insert our element. The for loop will shift the elements from this particular position to one position right making the location for new element free. Take an example, here is an array of size equal to 5. We want to insert an element at index 2, so POS equal to 2. See how the code works. So this for loop will execute as long as the condition i greater than POS is true. When it becomes false, it exits the for loop. First, i equal to size that is equal to 5. First, it checks whether 5 is greater than 2. Condition is true, so array of 4 that is 30 is moved to index 5. Now decrementing, i becomes 4. Checks whether 4 is greater than 2. Condition is true, so array of 3 that is 78 is moved to index 4. Now decrementing, i becomes 3. Checks whether 3 is greater than 2. Condition is true, so array of 2 that is 5 is moved to index 3. Now decrementing i becomes 2. Checks whether 2 is greater than 2. Condition is false, so control comes out of the for loop and execute the statement array of POS equal to element and stores the element 100 at index 2. Now let us see the time complexities. The best case will be inserting an element at the last position or the case if POS equal to size. Then the for loop condition i greater than POS will be false. So we won't enter the for loop and directly execute the statement array of POS equal to element. And insertion will be done. So the best case time complexity will be order of 1. Now the worst case will be inserting an element at position 0. So you need to shift all the elements to the right. And the for loop will work for n times if you have n elements. So the worst case time complexity will be order of n if you have n elements. Okay? So that's all. Thank you for watching the video and to execute more such programs please visit the link in the description below.